Parents in Buncombe County could soon have the choice of sending their kids to a charter middle school or high school. News 13 Cheryl Barber joins us at the Francine Delaney Charter Elementary School. And Cheryl, there are no charter high schools in the county right now. That's right, and, the, and parents say that it's time for a change. They're gathering support for a proposed charter middle and high school to give parents more options for their older children. People have come to a point of thinking that the education system in the United States is not maybe what we would like to see it be. These parents say it's time for a change. This sense that I had that a lot of parents felt like their children weren't thriving in middle school. Michelle Vruink and Kirk Vanderall say their two elementary school children and other kids need another option if public schools don't address their needs. They're advocates of establishing a charter middle and high school in Buncombe County. Maybe we need to create an option where some of those kids who aren't doing great have a fallback that isn't an expensive private school. Michelle and Kirk are consultants who evaluate schools nationwide. They've launched a survey for parents on Facebook to find out if other parents are interested. I've been pleased with the level of interest that we've had and not just people saying I want to know a little bit more but people who are saying we've been talking about this for a long time. The challenge that we're dealing with now is coalescing those people around a common idea in a way forward. I'm a big proponent of charter high school, any charter school I'm a big proponent of. Sarah Metzger and Dana Wingate have children who attend Francine Delaney Charter School and they also work here. They say their kids are doing well here and would expect the same at a smaller charter high school. I think that a lot of children thrive in smaller school situations and are intimidated to go to a really, really big school. I think the charter schools are great for the lower class sizes and the special attention that each child can receive, and it's free. You can't get better than that. Reporters hope to make the application for those charter schools this time next year. They're working under a new law that's removed the cap on charter schools in North Carolina. For more information on the Buncombe County effort, just go to our website, WLOS.com, and we'll link you to the Facebook site. Reporting live in Asheville, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13.